Hey everyone, I'm Jason. Welcome to the Farm Life. Uh, I'm gonna. This is gonna be the first of many for a series. We're gonna start is uh, sawmill, how to build your own. So I'm gonna bring you through all the steps I took. Thank you, Earl. I'm gonna bring you through all the steps that I took to build this mill, which is my own design. Thanks to many on YouTube. Uh, that you picked through and found the parts and pieces that I liked and made my own. So I'm going to bring you through different parts and make a series on it and hopefully you follow along and get something out of it at the end. So stay tuned and we'll see you at the end of it. So I'm pretty happy with uh, how the log dogs turned out. I wanted a quick release style. I didn't have to crank in with the screw or whatever. So this is what I came up with. Uh, we've got we've got this is inch and a half HSS, one inch square stock, some quarter inch flat bar by one inch some half inch uh, square stock and then some half inch thick plate that I cut into the shape of a cam along with the quarter inch thick uh, side bars that are out a one inch flat bar so how I ended up doing that uh, is I just played around with the handle I made the donut to begin with and then just pivoted on pretty much a piece of paper to figure out what that shape looked like and so there was some filing inside and some shaping of uh, the dog itself to allow it to pivot enough and as you can see and goes around the round part, you get to the flat and it locks in. Uh, there's essentially it's locked. Uh, one improvement that I would do is actually bring the handle out a little bit more. There's not quite enough when you've got this cinched in there. It, uh, it could be a little cumbersome to get in to release so I usually have a wrench or something with me. But nonetheless worked pretty good uh, pretty happy with it I've made I've only made two and so far I haven't found a need for more than two um, I'll show you how I've made that possible uh, on the log deck so what I've done for the mounts is halfway through each rib on the deck is I've made a half pipe uh, stretched out a little bit to fit the um, crossbar somewhat snug and then just cross drilled put a pin in now it's just a temporary bolt for now but uh, just so it keeps it there for whatever reason not that it's going to go anywhere but and then for the uh, log dog itself so on the dog uh, I ended up making the entire thing, I'll oh, say 19 inches to center of pipe. The bar to where it pivots to the top of the bar to the base about 14 inches. Uh, when, all I did for this is a chunk of pipe that I slotted or just cut lengthwise, spread it so that it fit over the crossbar uh, but with not too much play. It pivots quite nice and providing your Trying to move it from the base, 
it slides fairly good. But if you're try from any higher, it binds quite well. So, which is the whole purpose. Uh, so yeah, that turned out pretty good. So the far side ended up being uh, another chunk of pipe. I did almost exactly the same thing as I did on the dog itself. I put a slit on the bottom of it for the one end of the log deck. Uh, just big enough to accept the cross member. And then the other side is a half pipe, as I mentioned, so that you can drop that side in, or put this side in and drop the other. Uh, it works pretty good, keeps it quite stable. Quite happy with it. With my spacing, I've got four feet between ribs on my log deck, and so obviously these are in the middle, which would put my spacing on these also four feet. But uh, when they're pivoted in the same direction, it gives me roughly around 10 and a half, 11 inches between. So you can clamp a fairly small piece, which is nice. Uh, one thing I do want to make is a table that will support smaller pieces. So if I want to do uh, some hardwoods that somebody's cut down and it's only pretty much in firewood rounds, you can clamp those uh, without too much trouble. So as I mentioned, uh, they work quite well. You just have to put it up against and squeeze it. Uh, the closer you get to the log, obviously, the harder it's going to clamp. And sometimes it doesn't work for you, it works against you. But uh, in most cases, like that, that's the only log dog on there. And that thing isn't going anywhere. Uh, the V that I cut into that works awesome. Uh, if you're doing real small uh, cuts getting down to the skinny bits, you can use just one single tooth on that and you can clamp, uh, providing the wood holds up, you can clamp right down to a quarter inch thick. Not that you're going to be milling anything like that, but uh, it gives you room to pass over it if you're trying to get a certain dimension and that's all you got left. So that works quite well. Oh. Sometimes, like I said, it doesn't work in your favor to go too tight. So. But you can usually get them off without too much trouble. So the two log dogs that I got, I've made receivers between every set of runners on the log deck. So if I'm milling 16 foot logs and I don't want them this close or what would end up being over six feet apart if I pivot them both the other way, I can just pull the pins and put them to the farther uh, receivers, which I haven't really found the need to. Pivoting these both opposite directions gives you quite the span, so it uh, works out quite well. Well, we're running out of light. Uh, hopefully you got uh, something out of that and enjoyed it. If there's something I missed or something you're interested in, Leave it in the comments below and I'll be sure to answer you. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, feel free if you're up to it. And don't forget to hit that bell icon, which will notify you when I get new videos coming out. As I mentioned, this will be a whole series. So we'll pick apart the sawmill and go through my design and hopefully get something out of that. Thank you, Earl. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. I'm going to do a video on all the different parts. So, God damn bird. Take two. Uh, all in all, it turned out pretty good. There.
work quite well. Get out. Not so happy with my actual dogs, but log dogs turn out pretty good. Uh, that's just a joke. I love my dogs.